Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're gonna watercolor. We're using the Alta New Paint to Flower set for this month. This month the stamp set's called Fashion Monger Dahlia. This is the brochure. Sometimes I like to open it to see um, how they painted the flowers, but I actually had to Google um, the Fashion Monger Dahlia. There's different kind of Dahlia flowers, and so I found that this one has kind of like a a fuchsia starburst in the center of a white flower. Really pretty. So that's what I thought we would do today. I'm going to bring in the Misty and some watercolor cardstock. We'll place this in here and I am putting it texture side up. Um, I'm going to take my, there's just one image in here with three of the flowers. We'll place that on our cardstock and then we'll pick it up with the lid of our Misty. And then I'm also going to treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. We're going to do a little bit of heat embossing. Um, so I'm going to take my Versamark ink. We're going to go over our beautiful floral image. Ink that up really good. Stamp that. Since we're on the textured side, I think it's best if we um, stamp it a couple times. Uh, this month, the sentiments in here are so pretty, very encouraging, and great for sympathy cards, too. I love watercoloring for sympathy cards because it just seems very soft and elegant and heartfelt for some reason. Um, once I double stamped with Versamark, I'm going to bring in some silver embossing powder. We're going to go over our flowers with silver, just scoop it out. And I have um, adhesive backing <laughs> inside my embossing batters. I leave my, my little drawer on my desk while I create my video. And when I, I toss the back side of my foam squares, sometimes they land <laughs> in my embossing batters. So if you see the little white thing floating in there, that's what that was. So here's my heat gun. We're going to melt the embossing powder and then we have an image that's good to go. Heat embossing helps too to create a well or a barrier to keep your colors from bleeding out. At least it helps me. <laughs> okay, next up I am going to share with you a brand new watercolor set that Altenew had sent me. Now I have the 36 half pan set. Um, I purchased it myself and I loved it. Um, I love the colors um, I thought they turned out very vibrant. But um, this is an artist grade watercolor set and the tin is beautiful. It's metal and it opens up in three parts. Um, but I thought we would use this today. There's 24 um, half pans in this. This is, this is called the um, artist watercolor set 24 half pan. Um, this little tray is a metal tray actually, and each of those little half pans will pop out. You take them out, they are, each of them are covered with a little sticker that has their name on them. So I'm just using my scissors to remove those stickers, which was a little bit tedious, <laughs> but um, got them off. And it's nice too, because um, you only uncover the ones that you're currently using. So that makes it extra nice. For my card today, like I said, I had to Google what a fashion monger dahlia looked like. And um, basically it's a white flower with a yellow center with like a fuchsia star, like a fuchsia starburst right in the middle. So we're just going to use two colors for our flowers. So we have um, the middle we're gonna, is the yellow and we're gonna, that's called summer afternoon. We're going to add some water. I'm just using my spray bottle and... Um, loosening up that watercolor but that one is summer afternoon we have cherry blossom we have rainforest and then we also have green hills so kind of a yellowy green and then we have a um, mid-tone green and I was just making sure I had the colors right but yeah so four colors to create our flowers pretty easy and I want to make a disclaimer guys I am no means a watercolor artist I just color what, the way it makes me happy so I could be doing that wrong so <laughs> but I did leave the coloring in for you I'm gonna grab my craft mat and I have my floral here I'm actually gonna tape it down to my craft mat sometimes um, when I watercolor it likes to start to bow and then your watercolors will go outside of your little embossed barrier leaving a little bit of a mess so taping it down is a good thing I'm gonna zoom in and grab my detail brushes. Altenew has some really nice watercolor brushes. This set I think is like $15. I 
very very reasonable price and you get the nice little case to go with it um, there's two different sets this is the detail one the detail one has like the finger um, grabbers halfway down your paintbrush you can see here it's very comfortable when you paint um, but I'm, I'm using size number one for my image okay I'm gonna zoom in and I did leave the coloring in like I said but um, I sped it up super duper fast guys I always like if you have a paintbrush go over your panel first I just like to use my spray bottle kind of cheat a little bit but um, we're gonna start off by adding our little starburst to our flowers which is easy to do you see that um, in the flower you have the larger flower petals on the outside edge and then you have the in, like an inside flower the inside flower is supposed to be white um, what I'm doing is just going along that outline with my cherry blossom watercolor now since I sprayed it there's there's like little pool of water so basically all I'm doing is picking up the color um, that I put on my pan and just tapping it just so I'm basically letting the water do the work kind of bursting out sometimes I'll help it along with a little long stroke but um, I found that it, it works great but here I am zooming in I'm gonna play a little music if you want to skip this part I think it's like four minutes long guys just skip ahead but um, I'll play some music for you and when I'm done coloring I will catch you back Okay, coloring is all done. I'm just speeding up the drying process um, with my heat gun. And then we're gonna remove this from our craft mat. And um, sometimes the white for my craft mat will, will drown out the video. So we'll zoom back out and remove our tape here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm not sure if there's a coordinating die for this or not, but if there is, I'll list it below. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut around my image. Um, I did want some of the pink the cherry blossom kind of went all the way to the end of my uh, petals and so I really wanted the ends of the petals to be white um, so to help it along I'm just using my white gel pen cheating a little bit there is a white watercolor 
in the watercolor set, but I think the white gel pen just really made it pop. Um, some I had to go over it a few times actually because um, sometimes it, like the white gel pen likes to pick up the color. Okay, next I have some washi tape. You can see here. This is called the Leafy something washi tape from Altenew. Um, Altenew has so many pretty washi tapes that you could add to your card fronts. Um, I found this to be nice and neutral, so I thought we would create a um, strip on our card with this. So I'm just taking, it's about a, maybe a, a little over one and a half inches wide. Um, and I thought the greens worked perfectly with the greens in my leaves. So I added that to some white cardstock. And then we're going to also take some pink cardstock. Um, Altenew has lots of these sets. These are gradient um, cardstock. They're basically used for your craft of flowers, your um, layering floral dyes. Um, it's just color coordinated, but it's also great for card making because of the size. Um, I found that the purple here coordinated beautifully with um, our little Dahlia. This is actually called the, the Rose Petal Gradient Cardstock Set. Okay, we are trimming it down so we have a little border on the left and right and I can just tape down that washi tape that we created right down the middle. To use my tape runner and adhere it to my, um, my pink cardstock here. Once we have this adhered, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and add adhesive behind this strip and add this to my card base, which is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch standard card base. I'm just going to leave about a half of an inch on that left side. And um, there's a little bit of excess overhanging and I'll just take my scissors and we'll just trim that off. Next, we're going to pop up our watercolor floral. I'm using some Ulta New um, foam tape. They have a huge roll of it, and I really like it. Um, before I remove the release paper, I did do like to kind of play around with my placement, and, um, and this way I know where to put my sentiment. For this card, I chose the sentiment that says the larger scripty one that says I'm here. And then we're going to add a secondary sentiment that says, um, when you need me. So I just thought that was a beautiful sentiment. I decided to flip my card from a portrait to a landscape style card. Um, I think it just looks a lot prettier that way and the, and the sentiment fits nicer. So I'm going to ink up my sentiment with my VersaFine ink and stamp that just above my washi strip. And then after we have that I'm gonna, um, stamped, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the secondary sentiment. I did remove the release paper off of my watercolor floral and then pop that up. So that's secured. And then there's just a little bit overhanging. It was actually the stems of the flowers. It worked out good. I just trimmed those off with my scissors. Last but not least, I'm going to add a few gems. I just went through my gem stash and found some that kind of coordinated with the flowers. I added three next to sentiment and then two down here on the bottom corner. But that is my project today, guys. My project is actually part of a blog hop celebrating the brand new um, Ulta New um, Paint a Flower release. I hope you guys can join us. There's a giveaway to go with it. So that's a nice little perk. You can win some crafty cash. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. And we will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.